welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. Holy Spirit, Hearted to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Aliens will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards, and you will call, be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. Instead of their shame, my people will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, they will rejoice in their inheritance. And so they will inherit a double portion in their land. And everlasting joy will be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and iniquity. In my faithfulness, I will reward them and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are a people the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord, for my soul rejoices in my God. For He has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and a garden causes seed to grow, so the Sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations come on lift your hands God in heaven this wonderful celebration of our fifth 
anniversary here in Jesus the Living Gospel Central District. Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray. Lord, we we heed, we intercede, O oh God. We ask you, Lord, to pour out, pour out, pour out your anointing upon us. Empower your children, O oh God. Empower your people. Empower us for ministry. Empower us for service. Anoint us, O oh God. Anoint us again. Oh, pour out the oil of anointing upon us again. We receive and we respond to the challenge of going forth to the nations. As you have said, ask of me and I will give you nations as your inheritance. The ends of the earth, your possession. Oh God in heaven, we claim all these promises, oh God. Because your promises to your children are all yes and amen. They are all yes and amen. We receive our yes and our amen. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We receive it in behalf of our nation, the Philippines. We receive it in behalf of our families. We receive it in behalf of our loved ones. We receive it in behalf of our church. We receive it in behalf of our people. To God be the glory for the things He has done. Oh, let there be miracles today, oh God. Let there be the manifestation of your power to heal, to release everyone from bondage. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we receive our healing. Healing for our bodies. Healing for our loved ones. We receive our miracles. In Jesus' name, we receive our breakthrough. Right now, in this place, in this place. Oh, Rabasaka Takanabasande. Oh, let your blessings flow. Let your blessings flow. Let your anointing flow. Come on, receive it. Take it. Receive the anointing. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive your fresh anointing. Receive it. Receive your fresh anointing. Receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. We take it, oh God. We receive the fresh manifestation of your anointing in this place. In Christ's name we pray. All God's people said, Amen. Amen.